I suppose it's not exactly subtle, but yes, hello, Galactica behind me. Welcome to the Forbidden Valley One Take. So obviously we begin down here in the Galactica Plaza. Now there's lots of little tidbits of theming, callbacks to air, that's all across the ride, touched on across in sequence of Walton Towers. It began life as air in 2002 with a sponsorship by Capri Heroes for about five years. Then it operated as air up until 2015 when it became Galactica with a virtual reality uh, theme all about space travel. The portal on the first drop was added, where we'll go in a minute, and VR headsets were added. However, they now only have three rows of VR, as non-VR is proving more and more popular. But here is the portal, the titular theme of Galactica. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head over past the Galactica shop and the roller coaster restaurant, the UK's first. Your food is delivered to you via roller coaster tracks, at which point you also, well, not which when you order via tablets. It's in the site of the old air shop with the Galactica shop moving to the side. Inside are lovely callbacks to old rides, new rides, futures, future past, lots about the resort. There's so much to see in there. Obviously the Galactica shop next by. Now if you're lucky, sometimes they open Galactica in the evening and give you nighttime rides on Galactica while you eat at the roller coaster restaurant, but that's all, not always. Now, you know I'm gonna spin around and you're gonna see as far as you're concerned, if you haven't seen Secret Sporting Towers, nothingness. Sideshow games, picnic benches, and a bit of weird theming. This is the site of Ripsaw, an old top spin ride from 1997 till 2015. It sat here, and it's gone now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up to uh, Blade, we'll walk around the top and then come back down and end in the synonymous area of Forbidden Valley, the Nemesis Pit. The Blade, if you've watched Secrets of Alton Towers, again, I know I keep referencing it a lot, the Blade is the oldest operating ride at Alton Towers, having opened in 1980. But it's not always been here. It was over in uh, what is now X Sector as the pirate ship, but at that time it was the Springfield Centre and Fantasy World. And there is the Blade. It's a simple pirate, pirate ship ride, really. Now, one thing I've always wondered is why the ground here is red. I don't know. You walk alongside the blade. Now, claw machines, vending machines, all that stuff. Down here to the left, you can walk through the gardens to the dark forest or head by the woodland walk back to the hotels. Now, along here, hydration station, defunct uh, kitchen unit, and beyond that, Nemesis Donuts. Again, the lovely theming continues on the next to the old site of Thunderlooper when this area opened as Thunder Valley. Now, as we approach the end of the area, down to the left, you've got Way to the Sky Ride and the Lakeside Walk. And along here, the route to the Haunted Hollow back to Jewel. Now, I'm now going to walk upstairs to the Edge Arcade up here and now towards a lovely bit of theming based around nothing other than Nemesis. Obviously Nemesis is the main part of Forbidden Valley but now we touch on an old ride. Not old in the true sense but no more. Will it return how we want it to or will we see something new? Who knows? Welcome to the site of Nemesis Subterra. Closed in 2015, June to be precise. Supposedly due to restraint issues. Now it's hopefully being repurposed into Project 42 for Scarefest, new for 2018, but we don't know. I'm gonna swap hands quickly because I've been holding that one up for four and a half minutes. And again, as we walk down the side of that lovely bit of theming, we're walking towards the main article of the area, without a doubt. But before we get there, we've got old sideshow games, vending machines, paper play, all that sort of stuff. And to the left, if you can see it, bits of the old Nemesis queue line no longer in use. It was repurposed to become part of Nemesis Subterra's queue. 
Now, the camera's going to tilt down as we go through Nemesis Arch. Or as I've called it. I mean, nothing more. Now, obviously, we have Nemesis up there, the disused queue that's very rarely used, and then the main entrance. But we're going to walk right down into the pit. The pit for Nemesis was obviously made out of necessity, it had to be. The ride was too tall for the tree height rule imposed on Alton Towers. But in some ways, it's much better. I mean, it interacts with the area, riders, non-riders, it all interacts very well. You get some wonderful views of the ride. And oh, what more can you want from the beast itself? A ride so synonymous with Alton Towers that it's regularly known as one of the best rides, not only in the UK, but in the world. And the Nemesis monster that forms the station. And just two more things, and then we're done for Forbidden Valley. Obviously, as you leave Nemesis, you can come and get your photos in the Nemesis photo unit. And finally, the proper food, rather than donuts, is the coffee shop. And that is the Forbidden Valley one take.